Today I'll be teaching you how to make chain mail out of pop tabs. Okay, so here's what you'll need. First, pop tabs. These are what comes off of normal soda cans. Loosen it. Next, you'll need a twisty tie. Also, you're going to need a pencil, wire cutters, and a staple remover. Okay, so this is the ideal pop tab. The kind that you don't want is this one. See, it has kind of a little sticking out round thing. That's just off of the soda can. So what you're going to do, oops, what you're going to want to do is just snip it off. There we go. It's gone. Now it's a good pop tab. Okay, so also what you don't want is this kind. See? Some of them are colored, but some of them are silver, so just be careful. The square ones don't work. Round square. See the difference? Don't use the square ones. Use the round ones. Okay, so here comes the part where you prepare the pop tabs. So, you have one. Now you're going to need your staple remover. Put it in like this. See, this top round part and this bottom part's a little bit bigger? Put in the top part and put it where they kind of like meet in that line. Now you want to take your thumb and bend it. See, now it's bent. Then, you're going to take your wire cutters and on the top half, you're going to cut a slit in the middle. There we go. So there's the prepared pop tabs. And now what you want to do is prepare a lot of them. my cat. Looks really tasty. So our cat finished eating dinner. <laughs> but that's probably not important. Okay, so to start off, what you want to do is get four pop tabs and arrange them like this. So now, you're going to join them. Now, I'm going to take these two. The top, the one that's right here, when you're putting that, when you're joining that, you want it to go underneath this one and this one. So, can I show you that? See how you're putting these ones on top? then just kind of slipping it through the little slit that you cut. But, for the bottom one, you want to join it while it's on top. Okay? So you put it on top of these, slip it through. So now you have your little diamond. So when I first started making the chain mail, I thought that you were supposed to arrange it like this. No, don't do this, because see, you want your chain mail in rows, but now by putting it in little groups of four, you're making it just in a giant blob. So I'll show you what to do. Okay, so instead of making your chain mail in blob form, I'll show you what to do to make it in neat rows. So first, you want to like cut off three of these kind of, not literally, but in your mind, you want to kind of imagine that those aren't there. And see, now I've made a new diamond. So now I'm just going to attach these so that it looks like normally what you would do with this original diamond. 
So the bottom one goes on top. Top one goes on the bottom, which sounds confusing, but it's not really once you get used to it. So. Now, you don't exactly have neat little rows yet, but it looks a little bit more organized than the blob form. So, now we're going to attach a lot of those. Actually, I've already started making this one, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you by adding on, because it's practically the same thing. Okay, so this might be getting a little bit confusing for you of where I'm adding these pop tabs, but I'll explain. So, uh, remember when I told you to imagine the little diamonds everywhere? So, if you don't see how I would attach anything to here, cover up the rest, and see the diamond? One, two, three. So now I'm going to pretend that this is the fourth in the diamond. And now, you can see where I would add that pop tab. So let me just add it here. Okay, so now you see where I've added it. And here you can also see a diamond. So let me add that. And you can really see the diamonds like anywhere. It doesn't always have to be from one specific. Like it could be that three of the diamond are completed anywhere. Like it doesn't always have to be these top three. Like, let me think of an example. Let's move to the side here. So for this one, say you wanted to add to the side. Now, see there's only two in the diamond, so if you wanted to add to the side, then what you would do is make a diamond there. And see, now you have a diamond. One, two, three, four. And you could make it longer that way. But for now, I'm just trying to build down, so I'm gonna keep going with that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to fix some of the problems that may occur. So, see how right here there's kind of a dent, and you're going to be like, oh, so, I mean, do I start over, or, you know, whatever. So, hold on. What you need to do, sorry, I'm out of pop tabs, so I need to kind of prepare some more. Okay, anyway, so what you want to do is find out where the problem is. So for me, the problem is there. So what you want to do is look here and see if there's any possible diamonds that you can make. So I see one right here. So this and this. I could add one here and could add one here and here and the problem would be fixed. So that's what you're going to do. And even when you add it, remember to always connect every possible diamond around those pieces that you're adding. Because even though the diamond here may be complete, one, two, three, four, there might be another diamond here, one, two, three, four, and see those two need to be connected in the other diamond. So, just make sure you connect those. Okay, some other problems. You obviously probably know how to do these, so, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So say that one appears backwards. So this can happen anywhere in the chainmail, but usually it's around the edges. So what you wanna do is just flip all of the pieces. And sometimes the little slits that kinda keep them attached they become loose, like from when you put them on, it kind of makes them wider, and some of the soda cans, the pop tabs, they'll slip out of the loose openings. So you just want to re, re put them in, and if you have a soda, a soda tab, 
I keep saying can. But anyway, if you have a soda tab that is open like this, while it's attached, you can do this, but it's a little bit easier um, if you take it off, if it's on the edges. But if it's in the middle, obviously, just keep bending it until it goes back to its original shape. So there's how to fix some problems. Okay, so make your chain mail for as big as you want it to be. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it this big. And you might notice when you pick it up, see those top ones? They just flop down, and that can be annoying. I mean, these other ones will twist whenever you pick them up, but there's really nothing you can do about that. But these top ones, there is something you can do about them. So if you haven't forgotten, you did need a twisty tie and an ordinary pencil, and you will need the wire clippers for this, but you'll see why. So what you want to do is take the twisty tie, and I need to straighten it out, so I'll be back when I straighten it. Oh, also, and before I finish straightening this, um, I wanted to tell you something. So even if you see, like, a possible diamond on the side, don't go crazy, like, trying to fix it or anything because obviously there's diamonds everywhere so you're gonna keep seeing them and it's a little bit annoying when you see one on the side and it's not fixed but ignore it. Okay, this is close enough. So what you're gonna wanna do with this, wrap it around the pencil. It doesn't have to be a tight wrap, just wrap it. You can use wire for this step, but I didn't have wire, and most people probably have twisty ties. So anyway, what you want to do, pull it off of the pencil. Now, you use your wire cutters, snip it. Um, this is a little bit tricky because my twisty tie still has paper on it, so it's a little bit more tricky to cut everything. So once you've cut it, you should have these little ringlets, so I'll be back once I have those. Okay, so now I have my little ringlets, and you might want to sort out the ones that aren't going to be big enough, so just throw those aside. And here you have all the ones that will fit. So we're trying to fix these top ones because they don't seem to be connected to anything, and they're just kind of falling loose and limp, and they're annoying. This step is obviously optional, but I highly recommend it. So, what you want to do, get your top row pop tabs, first two. Widen your little ring, and slip it through them, so they're kind of linked together. Once you have it through them, just tighten the ringlet, and there you go. They don't fall. So now you want to do them that to all of these top rows. So that might take a while, so I'm obviously not going to film the whole thing. And I'm probably going to need more than this one twisty tie, so I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, so you can see that I pick it up. These hold it together and stop it from flailing around. These other ones, I mean, I can't find any way to stop them from turning and twisting, so you're just going to have to deal with it. But mostly you're going to be keeping still, like, you know, maybe you'll decorate your wall with it or something like that. But some other uses for this stuff, you can make costume for Halloween maybe or you know something but you're gonna need a lot of pop tabs so ask your friends ask your neighbors you know get a lot of pop tabs and a lot of time so anyway here is a pop tab chainmail and that was my tutorial so thanks for watching